Hey there everyone, <laughs> I'm back with my video in my car. Before I go on any further, I just want to reassure people here, I'm taking every precaution, but this week my car battery completely died and when the rescue people came out, because I can't do that kind of thing myself, <laughs> they told me that I had to take the car on a little run to just get the battery up to speed again and so I'm taking the opportunity while I do that to show you one or two things around Liverpool. I hope that's okay. I'm staying safe and I'm staying in the car and I hope you all are too. <laughs> okay, here goes. Guess where I am today. You ready? Isn't that beautiful? Look how good the weather is in Liverpool as well. I'm outside the Walker Art Gallery actually. The Walker Art Gallery is one of um, one of the museums and galleries on Liverpool. National Museums Liverpool, I think they're called nowadays. But this one I'm pointing out in particular because this um, this month, in fact, this week, <laughs> I think, <laughs> um, I've lost track of time, but we were supposed to open up the exhibition of Linda McCartney's family photographs. So sadly, everything is closed at the moment. All the museums and galleries are closed due to the lockdown. So it will be delayed, but it will happen eventually. So I think it's really a beautiful building and it's a street full of gorgeous buildings, to be honest. I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can come and see these yourself. But right next to it, the building there with the beautiful big tree, that's the Picton Library. That's the main library of Liverpool and that's where you'll find all the records. I've spent many a happy time in there just um, perusing all the um, the, the books, the tape, we've been in the, the rooms, Julie and I were there recently from Penny Lane Community Centre. God, my voice is going. <laughs> um, that's because I've not used it very much, I've not talked. Um, so Julie and I were researching some stuff in there, we get the microfiches, you can get real old historical documents out and it's really quite a joy to do. So it's a beautiful, beautiful building. It's um, It's got a mixture of old and new and definitely worth a visit. And then next to that You've got the main World Museum of Liverpool and so that features the natural history collection from one of, our, one of our local earls, that's what it was built around originally but there's also some wonderful Egyptology, there's a great planetarium that we always remember as kids. It's just a street full of these fantastic civic buildings and always worth a visit. I've always said to you, add another day when you're in Liverpool, don't just do, don't just come for a day, don't just come up on the train for a day, spend a few days here and enjoy these wonderful buildings. Back to the Walker Art Gallery, I mean I'm talking about the Linda exhibition but within there you've got some real great old masters and um, you've got some wonderful pre-Raphaelite paintings, oh there's my engine going, <laughs> and you've um, You've got some wonderful paintings of horses by a Liverpool artist called George Stubbs, who's world renowned. You've got wonderful things in there. Um, you've got some great sculptures as well. Always worth a visit. And you don't even have to talk about the Beatles, but you can, <laughs> because we've got the Linda exhibition, but there's also one of Ham Stewart's paintings there, the Hamburg Number no. 2, which forms part of the John Moore's exhibition. John Moore's art exhibition is um, something that's the biennial, so it goes on every two years. And Stuart Sutcliffe once entered, didn't win, but Stuart, um, but John Moores bought his painting, and that gave him enough money to buy a bass guitar and join his mates' band. <laughs> so back to the Walker Art Gallery. When we did our Paul McCartney birthday tour a while back, and um, it was great because we went inside here. They showed us around a little bit, and we talked about the day Paul McCartney received the freedom of the city of Liverpool. I don't know if we can see it. I might have to open the window here, but there's nobody around. So I'm gone. Here we go. But you've got <laughs> Duke of Wellington on his column there. But round the back, you've um, the, the street over to the right. That's called London Road. And that's where the Odeon Cinema was, where the Beatles came for the premiere of, um, of A Hard Day's Night back in the day. And that building immediately to our right, that's St George's Hall. And that's where John and Stuart attended art balls there. And I think where the exhibition was as well. Like I said, I'm not going to go into massive detail here. They're completely off the cuff. And uh, just a nice way to show you Liverpool during lockdown. So completely empty, this would normally be full of school groups, school coaches, 
um, families attending last week was Easter holidays so there would have been loads of family trips to the museum and the great thing about these places is do you know they're all free the Linda McCartney exhibition there is a, a fee attached to that one that's nine pounds I think um, but the the generally the museums and galleries are all completely free and if we just whiz around there that's the back of St George's Hall, that's called St John's Gardens and isn't it a lovely coincidence that we've got a St John and um, a St George, St George's Hall in St John's Gardens and there are trees planted for both John and George, in fact I think I can see George's tree from here, um, John's is over the far side of the garden. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to turn this round now, say goodbye and hopefully I'll get a couple of these done today so I can keep up with the videos. So there you go, it's me again. <laughs> I've got a bit sunburned from sitting out in the garden. <laughs> the weather has been really gorgeous in Liverpool, so we've been quite lucky to to enjoy the sunshine, really. It's, it's lovely. I wish I was out touring, to be honest with you, because this is the perfect weather. We've got bluebells everywhere. It's one of my favourite times of year to do tours. But sadly, as we know, we can't do that. We're in lockdown um, for the foreseeable future, at least another two weeks in the UK but I'm making the most of it anyway. So I hope you're all safe and well. Myself and my family all are so far, and fingers crossed it will stay that way. <laughs> it was lovely chatting to you all. Oh gosh, you can, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you could see him here, but I've got a little passenger. <laughs> I'm socially distancing. No, oh, I think he's okay. I brought little George the second with me. <laughs> I've not lost it, honestly, I am fine. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now, but lovely chatting to you all, and um, yeah, we'll see you out on tours soon. Say bye, George. <laughs> yeah, really, I haven't lost it. I'm okay. <laughs> bye, everyone.